Sure. Well, but anyway, we know that Marco Polo is very important, but there is another person who is also very important. He is also Italian, and he also helped. Um, probably he is less well known than Marco Polo, but he also helped and establish a great relationship between the two countries. I mean, Italy and China. And now we're going to take a look at his story. Marco Polo is the most famous Italian to have traveled the Silk Road, but there's long been questions about whether the man himself ever really came to China or even existed, because an authoritative version of Marco Polo's book does not exist, and early manuscripts differ significantly. It is said that Marco was only 17 when his father and uncle took him traveling. They traveled through Iraq, Iran, and Afghanistan before finally arriving in China four years later. He traveled the whole of China in the following 17 years and recorded his experiences. His legendary description of China led to the age of exploration a century later, when Europeans like Ferdinand Magellan, Christopher Columbus, and Vasco da Gama ventured beyond their borders, thus opening new routes linking China and the continent. If Marco Polo is the one who planted the seeds of communications, another Italian watered them 300 years later. He is Matteo Ricci, or in Chinese, Li Ma Dong. His first stop to China was Macau, and from there he traveled through Guangdong, Shaozhou, Nanchang, and Nanjing. Although Ricci may never have made it to Shanghai, we can still see the statues of him in Xu Jiahui, along with his good friend Xu Guangqi. Xu was a Chinese official born in Shanghai, and the area he once lived in, Xu Jiahui, was named after him. Richie brought to Chinese people books about Western knowledge of geography, astronomy, and mathematics, and it was Xu who translated them into Chinese. Richie also compiled the Great Universal Geographic Map, and that was the first world map used by Chinese people. To commemorate Richie, more artists are making statues of him. He bring it here, the, his knowledge in uh, many different things, very important for that time. Uh, that's, I think, is something unique. In that time, he bring it here a lot of knowledges which uh, in China it was not so well known. Now is the 400 years, 400 years of anniversary of Matteo Ricci, which is, uh, I think, is a, something unique. And his statues can not only be seen in Shanghai, but also in the capital Beijing. Ricci died there at the age of 58. His tomb is a few miles from the west gate of Beijing city. It is open to the public and draws visitors from around the world.